Man, what is it with John Landis and breakfast montages? I mean, he's done it in both this movie and in Trading Places. I mean, they're very good, no doubt, but... Man, that guy must really love his breakfast. <laughs> If you close your eyes Coming to America. So Coming to America is a story about this guy, Eddie Murphy, who is the prince of a place called Zamunda, and he's not very happy at this moment in time, mainly because he has been forced into a marriage that he doesn't really want to be in. He's never met this woman before, he doesn't know her, and frankly, he just doesn't care. He wants to meet someone who he actually cares for, who actually has an opinion of something, whereas his forced wife won't have. So he decides to go to America with his buddy, played by our senior Hall. And in terms of a movie coming to America, I mean, it's pretty much trading places. It's about rich guys becoming a poor guy, but instead he actually wants to become a poor guy, so it's a bit different there. But John Landis has experience in that field and he shows it in this movie because it's very well portrayed and it's very well expressed through John Landis. You can just tell that in this movie. I think the only thing that's different about it is John Landis had to experience actually being royalty, but again, he, he executed that brilliantly, I have to say. So yeah, I will say it's actually a very good movie to be fair. Because in terms of performances, Eddie Murphy and Arsenio Hall are absolutely brilliant when it comes to their performance as the prince and the friend. They actually kill it in this movie. I'll get onto their other performances in a minute, but there are other great performances. I mean, obviously you've got to think of James Earl Jones and obviously John Amos as well. But the thing is, it is a comedy and the main goal is, it, is it a funny movie? In my opinion, yeah, I think it is a funny movie. Especially when Samuel L. Jackson comes into the picture because <laughs> that is outstanding. I mean, he's only in the movie for a minute, but oh my God, he properly kills it. And like any John Landis movie, is it a good story? Of course it is. It's always going to be a good story. It's a great story with a very important message. When it comes to love, it's not about the money, which I think, you know, it has to be told, it has to be expressed in a certain way, and I think this is the movie that does it very, very well. But like any movie, there are mistakes, but this one's actually really, really annoying. Now, I mentioned Eddie Murphy and Arsenio Hall's performances when it comes to being the prince and the prince's friend. Them two performances are absolutely brilliant, but unfortunately, there are moments in this movie where Eddie Murphy and Arsenio Hall take this a little bit too far. Like Eddie Murphy always does when it comes to his comedy and his energy, he needs to go crazy sometimes. He needs to let out all that energy somehow, and unfortunately, for some reason in this movie, this is the only way to do it. It's their other characters that they're portraying in this movie. For instance, you've got the head dresses for one. I mean, oh my god, they are absolutely unbelievably annoying. I mean, all they talk about is boxing and boxes in the most annoying way possible. Ah, oh, there we go again, he's gonna mention it again, he's always gonna mention it. Rocky Marciano, Rocky Marciano, Rocky Marciano. I found that irritating to do myself. If you found that irritating, you're gonna find it irritating in this movie. But other performances as well, I mean, you've got this reverend here. I mean, why? What's the point of this guy? He does nothing for the film. He's absolutely pointless. Oh, and of course, his buddy as well. Mr. Randy Watson. No. So unfortunately, I think they did need to calm down just a little bit, but uh, it's done now. Nothing you can do about it, really. But guys, in terms of a movie overall, I think it's a very, very good movie. I mean, it's brilliantly directed by John Landis, along with that with a very good message about love and that it's not about money, which is expressed very well in this movie, and nearly perfect performances, like I mentioned, and comedy that does work. There are a lot of moments in this movie where it is quite funny. But guys, I will say that Coming to America is a movie that I'm going to be keeping and I'm going to be putting on the bottom shelf. Guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed your stay here and I hope you will enjoy more videos that is to come on this channel. Now, if you wish to leave a like and subscribe, then that would be perfectly fine by me. But if you also want to leave a comment down below and express your opinions about certain movies or this movie in particular, then go ahead. I want a good conversation. And in the meantime, guys, I will see you in the future. Yeah.